Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is JJ and today I have another reading. Pick a card, option one, two, and three. Um, like always, the uh, timestamps are listed down below in the description box along with my email for personal readings. And now I am also linking my website and you can go to my website, go to the services tab and you can see the readings that I do offer. I want to start by saying thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and disliked my videos as well. Um, and I also want to say thank you to all of you who have booked a, re a reading recently. You guys have kept me busy, and it's good busy. Um, it's been amazing always sharing space with you guys. It's an honor for me to be picked as your tarot reader. So thank you very much. I love all the readings that I do. Um, I feel like people who are getting readings at this time are people who are having some type of shift and I don't blame them. It's from the eclipses that have been going on. Um, a lot of them have been about personal things coming to the surface and having to change their life or having to pursue something in their life, something new or something that they have abandoned in the past. So um, if you're out there and you feel that way, know that you're not alone. There's several people who are going through that as well, who are having like a wake up call. So like always, these are general readings. Take what resonate and leave the rest behind. If it doesn't resonate with you, please don't try to force a situation into your life. Um, let's see. That is it. So you could pause the video and run your hand over and see which one you pick. Or you can just um, pick a number. Again, one, two, or three. So let's start with option one. So option one, two, and three. Okay. We have the Knight of Cups. So someone's offering you their cup. Someone's offering you something. I'm hearing an apology, an invitation to something. This is my little fluorite crystal. The sun, wow. Wow, if you picked option one, someone is offering you their sun. They're offering you happiness, abundance. They're offering you, I don't know how to put it in words. They're offering you, like they're all. Now, let's see. Hopefully, I, I don't tempt the devil with this card here, but... Oh, look at that! Someone's offering you some type of truth, okay? A truth that will make you very happy. Now, this person could be a Leo because it is the sun here, but it does not have to. Um, this person, I feel like it's offer. they are offering their truth to you. And therefore, they're giving you... They're making you very happy, okay? Um... Or maybe some of you are offering your cup, your truth to somebody else. And that is also, this person's gonna, if you feel like you want to offer your, your cup or your love or show your love to somebody, go ahead and do it. This person will reciprocate the feelings back to you. Okay, they will be truthful. Um, you will feel victorious. If you want to ask somebody out, they will say yes, or if they're or someone may be asking you out as well. And you will most likely say yes. If not, if this has nothing to do with you, with the Knight of Cups here as well, they're telling you to go after what you want, what makes you happy. Go after that. That's the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is... They're joyous, they're happy, they're going after what they want, right? So I feel like if you want something, go for it. You will come out victorious at the end. Regardless if you're offering your cup to somebody else or somebody's offering their cup to you. I'm sorry for the, the leaf floor in the background. They are doing the gardening outside. So I just don't want to stop the video. So just please ignore that. I'm trying to speak loud. So regardless of this, there is a truth that is coming to you. I feel like it's it's a truth, but it's an emotional truth too that will make you very happy. There is an offer of love, an offer of happiness. If someone is coming to ask for forgiveness, I feel like this person is being truthful. This person is speaking from their 
from their heart. They're being honest with you, okay? They're not telling you what you want to hear. They're actually telling you the situation and how they felt at the time. And I feel like you guys will rekindle or will make the steps, right? Like you guys will become friends again or you guys will end up talking again. But regardless of the situation, you are coming out victorious. You are thinking clearly. Um, go for it, okay? So now to option two. So option two, we have the two of wands, eight of cups, and the seven of swords. Some of you are going on your own path here because the seven of swords to me is, if it's not stealing something, it's about you going after what you want. It's your truth. You being kind of a lone wolf. Every time I see the Seven of Swords, because I always had a love-hate relationship with this card. It used to come up a lot for me when I was thinking of doing my YouTube channel. And I'll be like, why is that card coming up? And so I started doing research on it. And this person, I don't remember her name, but she vlogged about it. And she opened uh, a new vision for me in regards to this the meaning of this card which is you not being afraid of going down your own path doing what you have to do to get what you want done okay um, and being okay with being alone eventually you will find your tribe so if you're in a situation like that where you feel like you're alone that you have to do this situation on your own people are not helping you i feel like it's okay because some of you are walking away from a relationship or a partnership of some sort. Now, this could be love relationship. It could be work relationship. Any type of relationship. Regardless of that, I feel like this person or this situation is not making you happy here. Because you're leaving here. The Eight of Cups is you're going after something that is more meaningful to you. Because whatever it is that you put your effort and your time into these cups is not making you happy. And I feel like... You have to go about it on your own. You have to use your skill, your wittiness, your intelligence to kind of go after what you want. I feel like also some of you saw the possibilities in the world because the two of wands is also a guy standing in his castle looking out into the horizon. So I feel like some of you have seen the possibilities or have already envision kind of like what you want and you're going after it because wherever wherever it was that you were whatever situation that you were in was not making you happy also another thing here what i'm getting and i always get it with this deck and particularly is your ball the ball is on your court now okay it's like you have the world in your hands here spirit is giving you the ball or someone is handing you the ball it's in your court now. Are you going to play ball or are you just going to let it slide? And I feel like some of you are like, yeah, I'm taking the ball and I'm running with it. I'm doing my own thing. I'm going at it and I'm finding that which makes me happy. Okay. Um, another, another scenario I am getting here is someone is running away with something. A partnership, a, another person, or this could be you running away with something, stealing something. And you're running. You're running from that. You're running away from that. Be careful, okay? If that is the case, don't be doing that. That's bad karma. But I'm not feeling that for everybody. I'm feeling like you're just doing your your own thing. Um you're this is moon in Aquarius, so you're doing your own thing. You're going about it on your own. Make sure you have all your ducks in a row. And just, you know, do your own thing. Do your own thing. Eventually, you will find people who will who will support you and who will have the same vision as you. Okay? Don't be afraid to leave if something is not making you happy. Some of you are leaving a relationship that was being sneaky behind your back. And you're just leaving. You're like, I'm out of here. I'm tired of this. I'm out of here. So that was option two. Now for option three.
Let's see. Ten of Pentacles. Wow, we're talking about family, stability, inheritance. What is this? The King of Rods. So some of you are married to a fire sign or want to marry a fire sign. And the King of Swords. Okay, this is about a marriage between a King of Rods and a King of Swords. So if you're in same-sex marriage um, and you're either of these um, characters, I guess, of these personalities here, your marriage is solid. It is uh, a very earthly marriage, I would say. It's a very solid marriage, okay? You're leaving something, you're leaving a legacy for your future generation. It's something that it, it's a very strong foundation. There's a strong foundation in this marriage, okay? There's a lot of financial security. You have the house, the car, everything. Or that's what it would be if you were inquiring about something about same-sex marriage and you were asking about the significant other this could be again the signs could be sun moon or rising this is fire so aries Leo, sagittarius this would be air so libra aquarius and god i lost the other one gemini i'm so sorry for my gemini's i love my gemini's but i my mind went on blank so if not, this could be also female, okay? It could be that maybe you're married. or you, I'm feeling like someone's choosing between the king, a king of swords and a king of rods if you are a female. But I feel like you're basing your decision on which one can give you financial security. Which one can give you... Um, I'm going to pull another card because this is not... I feel like you're basing the decision on... Yeah, which one could give you the family that you want? Which one can give you the car, the house, uh, stability, the family, the whole package? You're like looking for the whole package here. Yes, you're looking for your Ten of Cups. So some of you are getting married. If you're in the same, again, especially with the rainbow here, I feel like this is more to do with um, people of the same-sex marriage. Or you may be attending. If you pick this, maybe a son or something like that, is or family or some somebody around you is getting married, or you yourself are inquiring about this, you will be happy. Uh, there is emotional and and financial stability in this marriage. It's the Ten of Cups is your happily ever after card. That is beautiful, honestly. This is not going to be a message that is going to re resonate with everybody. Again, if you are a female and you are one of these signs here and your significant other is one of the one or the other, there is financial security, there is emotional security as well. There is mutual understanding. Um, if you're inquiring about children, yes, there will be children down the line. Most likely it will be a a boy, I'm hearing. Fire sign child here. So again, this message will not resonate with everybody, but that is what I am getting. Sorry that these readings are short today, but I've been, like I'm saying, I've been really busy and I have to finish some readings that I'm doing. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.